In this video, we're going to be using Shannon Soap's Aussie Ice and the Supply SE 2.0 razor with a new open comb test plate. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I'm looking forward to doing this shave today because we're using one of my favorite brands of soap. This is Shannon Soap's Aussie Ice. This comes to you for a great, great price. $11.95 for four ounces or $2.98 on a cost chart there, which is exceptional. This particular soap smells like uh, spearmint, eucalyptus, and menthol. Um, overall, to me, it comes off like uh, spearmint gum, just a nice peppermint type uh, scent uh, right at medium uh, strength. Let's show you the ingredients right here. And I'm going to tell you, this uh, Shannon Soaps, just their base formula produces some of the best lather that I'm capable of producing. It just works perfectly for me and my conditions. I don't know why, it just always lathers up beautifully. Good quality stuff, Shannon's soaps. We're also gonna be using today for the first time, we have our Supply SE 2.0 razor, but we're using a brand new test uh, plate, or I think they actually call it a setting, which is open comb, and their brand new blade that they're um, producing. So we look forward to using it. Today, this is a sort of open comb design. It's something they're testing out, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get right into it today. Uh, gonna wet the face. We have our uh, almost 24 hours of growth there. You can see some of that salt, and we're gonna wet the face. Now, I'll remind you, uh, links to the products I use will be below, and uh, today we're gonna use the Razor Rock 400 brush, and that lather is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what it is. Shannon's, um, Shannon's and Sterling, as far as lathering goes, they just always work extremely well for me. They are not finicky. The ease of use is there with these brands. And for some reason, Shannon's, um, I don't know, it just lathers so easily and so well. And it takes water very well. I know a lot of more expensive soaps get praised for handling a lot of water. But I can tell you, and hopefully it comes across on video here that Shannon's takes it readily and uh, it's not hard to work with. So it doesn't dissipate, it doesn't disappear. It just lathers up beautifully for me. Of course, your conditions may vary and your mileage may vary. But for me, um, I would be very happy to use this particular base all the time. You know, it's, you know, I'm not one of those people that fawns about, carries on about bases because I think the soap bases have been good for a very long time. But this one here, which is our basic formula, and keep in mind they have a goat's milk formula, which we call the super copper oil <laughs> formula. They have a premium formula. This one right here for me is everything I need, and it comes at a great cost, and uh, you know I appreciate that. Um, I just really like when a soap works incredibly well and is well-priced, and Sterling and Shannon's, when it comes to that, um, uh, they're just hard to beat. You're not going to find a soap that works better at its cost than Sterling. And and I like a lot of the other uh, premium level for, uh, formulas that are out there. But this one for me just works perfectly. And if this was the only formula I had, I'd be I'd be completely happy. I'm getting some menthol cooling now, which is very nice. And let's see how this goes. Now this um, this setting, as supply calls it was designed to be, um, to feel quite mild while shaving efficiently. So we'll see how it goes. And it's feeling, I'm not feeling much blade at all. And I think that's the design of this particular plate, but we'll see how effective it is. And I really don't know, this is a brand new test um, plate. So this is, you know, a test. Now your supply razor comes with three settings. It comes with the one, the first setting is quite mild. The second setting is medium, and the third is more efficient. And I like to use plate three. So I'm someone who favors more blade feel. And there's not much blade feel on this. And I'm not sure how well it's performing because I'm used to that blade feel. And for me, that's offering feedback. So I can feel how I'm doing. With this one, I think it's cutting well. Yeah, okay, now I'm getting the angle, I think. I think you have to have the angle a little more towards the cap, like so, and not so much angled. Um, 
It feels very, very mild to me. And that might be exactly what some folks are looking for. The question for me will be, how, how does it shave? It's okay if it feels mild as long as it's shaving well. Definitely some nice cooling going on here with the Shannons. The menthol is kicking in. Okay, now we're getting it. And you do, with this plate, it needs to be more like that. And not so much like that. And now I'm feeling a little more blade, which is, uh, to my preference. Uh, I really appreciate companies like Supply who market their products and get sort of out, outside the sort of niche area of this hobby. Um, a lot of times when I do these videos and I'm using the supply razor, someone will say, I, I stumbled into traditional shaving because of supply or say someone like Leaf, these sort of crossover products. And I think that's fantastic. So thank you, supply. Uh, I held off for a long time. And honestly, I don't know why I held off buying a supply razor for years. I have no idea why, because it's a terrific shaver. It uses an injector blade. It's very nice. And now that I'm, I've got the angle down, it's working much better. On that side, um, initially, I was struggling to find the angle and I was down like this and it wasn't really uh, sh shaving as well as, as I would like. But now that we've got the angle, it's, uh, it's working very well. And uh, the Shans, of course, is working like a dream. And it always does. <laughs> that is just good stuff. I mean, that is just... Good stuff, and you see it flying off there onto my shirt. No problem. Really nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a nice soap. And again, if the if the scent if if the scent of like spearmint chewing gum, think about you know, like a spearmint chewing gum applies to you or appeals to you, I should say not applies to you. Uh, you might like this one. It's quite nice. Got some good cooling. You don't get much eucalyptus, so don't be afraid if you're um, if you're averse to a, a eucalyptus because some people don't like that scent. I don't get a lot of it in this. I get mostly that peppermint or spearmint, whatever, like a spearmint chewing gum, which is a pleasant scent for me, and I enjoy it. And I'm definitely getting the cooling now. So there's a good bit of menthol in this. It's not overpowering. It's to me, it's not. It's not. It's, not making my eyes water or anything like that, but it's enough that I'm definitely getting that cooling. And what a beautiful lather from Shannon's once again. No surprise. Shannon's is very consistent, like um, much like Sterling. You kind of know what you're getting. And I do appreciate the artisans who are sort of tinkering with bases. But for me and at this stage and for my use case, I just don't need that. Um, I think soaps like this offer everything that I need. And the base tinkering for me, and I've said this, I've said this since they started doing it five, six years ago. Um, the base tinkering, I'm sure they make incremental improvements, but for, for me, for in my perspective, it's more about marketing. Um, they do improve the product, but I would personally never buy a, um, a soap, the same soap that I already owned just because someone came out with a new base, unless it was dramatically improved over the last formula. And I have yet to see a formula that someone develops that is out of this world, whereas their last formula wasn't also very good. You will see some improvement, don't get me wrong, but I've never seen a soap maker that was struggling with a formula. And then they come out with a new one and they were like, oh, that soap wasn't good, but now with the new base, it's good. I've never seen that. If they're, most times, if their new base is good, their last base was good also. Yeah, this definitely comes across feeling mild. You're not gonna get much uh, blade feel out of this, which is what they've designed it to be. Their um, marketing video on, and again, this is a sort of a beta test here. The marketing video, or I should say the video where they explain this plate, just says we want this to, to be mild while also being efficient. And I think it's doing a pretty good job. And again, for me, I prefer a little more blade feel, but I think it's shaving well. So we'll see after our last pass how we did, but that's feeling pretty good, I gotta say.
I was really su surprised by the uh, supply razor. Again, I held off for a long time. Not sure why. Um, and now they're making their own blades. And this blade is very smooth. Um, I would say as far as injector blades goes, or go, this blade is probably the smoothest injector blade that I've tried. And I don't know where they're making this. But Supply has got it right on this blade. I'm telling you. Very nice. You can hear a little bit of feedback there. If you listen. So it's definitely cutting. But you do have to get the angle right on this. I didn't have it right initially, but now it's feeling pretty good. Nice. It's quite an enjoyable to try something brand new like this. It's um, hasn't come to market yet. And Supply basically reaches out to their customers with surveys and so on. And if you respond, um, sometimes they'll, you know, put you in a list of people or send you an email and ask if you'd like to test something. And so I've tested the blade and now this plate and the plate is working well. I think people who f uh, favor a mild uh, blade feel experience are going to like this plate if they bring it. Um, and I'm liking it as well. I probably pick it up based on the way it is today to use on occasion if they offered it right now, just cause it's open comb. It's different. I don't, I don't think I've seen very many open comb, uh, uh, injector razors, if any. And so this is a sort of a new wrinkle for me. There might be some out there that I don't know about, but, uh, this is pretty unique to as far as I know. And this soap is just, I mean, look at that right there. That's good stuff. <laughs> I mean, that is just really good stuff. And I'm routinely impressed by the quality of Shannon's at its price. And if you haven't seen uh, on Real Talk, uh, a week or so ago, we did a spotlight with Shannon and Brian from Shannon Soaps. Go check that out. I will pop it up there for you. If you haven't seen it, I think you'll find them to be very nice people. Shannon has a background in chemistry, which lends itself to, I think, soap making and doing it very, very nicely. And she started making soaps because her husband, Brian, was very, very sensitive. And, and his skin was so sensitive that he basically couldn't use regular soap like uh, a bar soap. It would um, make him blister. And so she started making soaps for that reason, and then eventually it turned into a business. And I'm telling you right now, in terms of the mechanics of the shade, and what I mean by the mechanics of the shade, I mean in terms of this soap providing what I need, the slickness lathering well, in terms of mechanically, this base is good as any formula out there, including all the premium formulas. And I mean that, that's not just lip service. It is slick, it lathers well, it holds hydration. I don't own a single soap that does it better than this one. I think some are more enjoyable to use and some companies have a more vast catalog of scents. But pound for pound, when you consider what this cost, this is one of the best bases on the market in terms of the mechanics of the shape. I don't evaluate the post, so you can, you know. If you're someone who does, and that's important to you, maybe try the goat's milk formula, what we call the chupacabra oil formula, or the, uh, the rust belt reserve, which is premium. And maybe those will be more to your liking, but this one doesn't leave me wanting anything. Nice slickness, that residual slickness there is very good. Outstanding. Soap, and like I say, when it comes to the mechanics of the shave, there's nothing that works any better for me. There's a little water there on my face, and that residual slickness is just, it's just great. And I'm so glad that you all are finally catching on to Shannon's. Uh, it took them a long time to get a foothold in the market, and I think uh, some of the companies began to stock their products, like Maggard and the Razor Company, and that has really helped them catch on. And of course, there are those of us who uh, have been using them for years and going, this is good stuff. Why isn't anybody using this? Now they're catching on. 
And so it's great to see that because when you have something this good that comes at this price, I want people to be able to enjoy it as I do. And for me, like I said, um, there's not a soap in my den that does a better job mechanically providing a lather the slickness and providing for an outstanding shave. Can hear a little bit of feedback there? Very nice. And I've enjoyed this plate today. Now, personally, my feedback on this, and I'll, I'll fill out their survey too, I'd like a little more blade feel, but I think this is doing a good job despite not having a lot of blade feel. So supply, I think, is, is doing a good job. And if they offered this plate as it is today in the material of my razor, I would pick it up. It's a change of pace. And again, I'm not sure if there are any open, open comb injector razors out there. You let me know if you, if you know of any. But I think this has been an excellent first run. Um, this is a good razor. And uh, I'm glad to have picked it up. Very nice. And we can continue to sort of work with that little bit of soap on there and that resi residual slickness and just finish off and have a wonderful outstanding shave. I hope you all are having a great Monday. Try to st start your Monday out positively. Try to think it's gonna be a great day. And uh, a lot of times if you, if you start it out and you get up and you're out of bed, you spring out of bed, you drink that coffee and say, this is gonna be a great day, it will be. Okay, <laughs> let me uh, rinse off then we'll come back and get into the post, stay tuned. All right, and we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse. We followed that with the alum, no stinging whatsoever. So that was nice, super smooth shave. Followed that with a cold water rinse, toweled off with the old Lancaster towel. And then we applied our Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. This is cucumber, very good stuff. The shave today was super, super enjoyable. And honestly, it always is with Shannon's. Shannon's, their base formula punches way above it's weight for me, it's as good as anything out there. The lathers that I make, and you've seen them here, consistently are excellent. It's easy to do. Go check out my lather tutorial with it. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll link it below for you. This stuff for the money is hard to beat. It's like sterling in that regard. Very, very, very good stuff, and I enjoyed it. Think of uh, spearmint chewing gum with cooling. That's what this smells like, so I really enjoyed it. The Supply 2.0 razor with their beta, uh, Test plate, open cone, very nice. Feels mild, not a lot of blade feel, but it was efficient. Uh, personally, I'd like a, a little more blade feel because that's just what I favor, but I think a lot of people are really gonna enjoy this uh, plate. It was really, really nice, I enjoyed that. And of course, we used our Razor Rock uh, 400 brush, and we shall finish it off today with the uh, Shannon Soaps Silk Pajamas Splash, which was sent to me by, by a viewer, Steve. Thank you, Steve. I'm going to have a wonderful day, and I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day as well. When you start off the day with a great shave like this, it's fantastic. Remember, today's Monday. It's not a day to roll out of bed and go, oh, it's Monday. I got to go back to work. Get out of bed and go, hey, man, it's great to be alive. Get a great shave. And when you start that work day, just have a positive attitude and follow through with it, and your Monday will be great. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you. It's your shape, do it your way. And as always, God bless.